Hi, I'm Dr. Simon Freilich and I'm a consultant in clinical neurophysiology. Welcome to my YouTube channel and to this explanatory video for patients who have got pain in their wrists. The most common causes of pain in the wrists are tendonitis and tenosynovitis, which often relate to repetitive strain type injuries. This means inflammation of the tendons or the sheaths that surround them and normally allow smooth gliding movements to occur. An alternative cause can be carpal tunnel syndrome, which I explain in a separate video, which you can see by clicking on the iCard above. Symptoms of tendonitis or tenosynovitis often include pain and swelling over the tendons, which is exacerbated by movement and is relieved by periods of rest. Of course, it's very important to try and avoid any exacerbating factors in these situations. So, for example, if one is a typist, one may consider using voice dictation software. This is often built into the more later versions of Windows, or you can use separate packages such as Drag and Dictate. People who use lots of manual tools, for example, screwdrivers, may benefit from using electrical cordless screwdrivers to relieve the repetitive use of the uh, wrists. A very good way of accelerating the healing process is to use a wrist splint which holds the wrist in a neutral position overnight and allows the swelling and inflammation to settle down without being exacerbated by nighttime movement. I'm going to show you a wrist splint made by a company called ProMedic, so I'm not sponsored by them in any way. The advantage of their particular website is that they actually provide a measurement guide for your individual wrist circumferences and they are actually very reasonably priced. The one that I'm going to show you now is very breathable. You can see here the material is uh, quite free for air to move in and out of so it doesn't feel hot and sweaty at night which can be quite disturbing for patients and it has got an adjustable uh, metallic strip in the middle of it which can be adjusted to your own particular comfort simply by bending it. When you put it on make sure that the wrist is comfortable, that it's not too loose. When you put it on as well you don't need to get it right the first time around, just get it on first of all and then adjust it according to your own particular needs. So let's get that a little bit tighter there. And I'm going to make that just a little bit looser and so it feels more comfortable at this point over here. The most important thing to ensure is that there is a nice snug fit which is not overly tight and yet is not overly loose. And so it's really important that you don't get a splint which is either too small or too big. The final thing I'm going to say about wrist splints is that they should not really be worn during the daytime. The reason for that is because one is then fighting against the resistance of the splint itself in order to make movements. And this will, of course, exacerbate the inflammation and the friction on the tendons which are already inflamed. Using a wrist splint is particularly useful for mild carpal tunnel syndrome where patients may get intermittent tingling and numbness in these three fingers over here and some subjective weakness too, which is worse at night. If your symptoms are not improving after a couple of weeks of using a wrist splint, either for tendonitis or for uh, carpal tunnel syndrome, then by all means go and see your local medical practitioner for further assessment and intervention. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this video useful. If you have, then please do support the channel by liking, sharing and subscribing. Many thanks for your support.